Hello, Ark fans. Here with Rex again. Um, so <laughs> we're having a bit of an eventful one. <laughs> Just logged in a second ago. Uh, been a little bit craziness, but uh, something I wanted to show y'all real quick that uh, kind of discovered on accident uh, a while back when they first introduced the fish meat. I killed me a shark here, which was a little bit difficult to do because, <laughs> well, yeah, there ended up being a dozen. Oh, come on, give me some prime. I'm wanting that prime meat. Will the sword do it better? Nope. Oh, well, uh, what's going on is, uh, one, as you can see, I built something over the water a minute ago. But then, uh, two, which we'll get into that in a minute, I had a whole bunch of Pelagornis just kind of come rolling in through the barrier all of a sudden. And, uh, like, I have no idea, like, uh, <laughs> they've never been out here before. I know they spawn right out that way a little bit, but, um, yeah, they just kind of come rolling up in on me. So, I mean, I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill me some sharks real quick. I need some prime meat. Will you get prime meat if you eat them? No, oh, but you got a ton of fish meat. Ugh. When did sharks stop dropping prime? Usually you can use the sickle. I know you can use the sickle on um the um uh salmon to get prime meat, but I thought you could also get prime meat off the sharks with it. But apparently I ain't having no luck whatsoever, which is what I really need is some uh fish prime meat because um if I'm not mistaken the uh Pelagornis doesn't eat nothing but fish meat. And I mean, I could make some kibble, the, you know, perfectly easily, but I don't really want to do it that way, because, one, I'd rather not spend the extra metal if I didn't have to. But it looks like I'm going to have to fish meat this guy. But, uh, yeah. As you can see, I built this thing right here, which we're going to get to that in just a second. I, uh, had a bit of, <laughs> like I said, it's been a pretty hectic start to the day. Um, literally ain't been on, but just a little bit. You got a bunch of crap I need to get off of you. Alright, let's take a thousand of that meat. That should be more than enough. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you real quick that the sickle does harvest fish meat. It doesn't do it with dolphins, because of course they're not, or not the dolphins, the icky, I know they're not dolphins. But I mean, they look like a dolphin, so it's a dolphin. Uh, <laughs> um, they don't do it with the icky, because of course it's a mammal. So you, you only, you get raw meat from them. But, uh, yeah, I've seen this guy, and he, he's not the highest of levels, but, uh, I mean, he'll he'll do. I just wanted one because, I mean, they're not terribly useful, but it's nice to have. So we'll go ahead and rote use this and starve you completely down. And blam! Let's throw it all on there, because I have no use for it. Hmm. Stoper's not going up, but he should be good to go. We'll go ahead and take this guy back over here. Also, um, like I said in the last video, uh, I'm trying a new audio. Let me all know if it sounds better or worse, like what's going on, because I know I've had some issues and uh uh, someone asked about the uh, dodo sounds at the start and finish of my videos, and I've been trying to cut them out, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, that is my recording and stop recording sound so that I can actually know since I don't have a second monitor right now. Well, I do, but I just don't have nowhere to set it up yet, but uh, I'm going to work on that. But uh, here we go. Pelagornis. Oh, I thought I'd tamed one of those before. Oh, that's right. It was on the other character. Nice. Well, for those who haven't seen the thing, here you go. We'll name him just a minute. See what his stats are. No, they're not the greatest, but oh well. Come on. Are you going to walk or are you going to fly? You're going to fly. So I'm going to have to make a saddle for you so you don't go flying off. Um, something I don't know if they changed or what, but I've noticed with the uh, Quetzal, if I hop off of him while he's hovering, he will fly away. Like he'll just decide to off and go. And there you go. And it's like, what? But, um,. Let's see what I need to 
make a saddle for this guy. Do I make it in inventory or do I make it on this? Have I even learned it? Probably haven't learned it. Oh, nope. Alright. So it looks like I might make it in my inventory. Yep. Pelagornis. I need hide and I do not have any the chitin. Uh, I lost all my chitin when I lost all my stuff. So that is a problem. Can I get you to land? Let me see if I can shut this door. Come here. Oh, yeah, land there. Just land there. It's perfectly fine. I don't care you sitting inside my base. Just land. That's something they need to add. There's an option you can go up and be like, land. Let's see. Let's cycle you to passive. All right. Well, hopefully he'll land. If not, I got the pet tracker. I can track him down eventually, I guess. Uh, <laughs> they got such a huge wingspan. I need to come up with a name for that guy as well. Um, suggestions? I don't know. We'll see. But um, also, okay. Now the other thing. Uh, I was going to do this entirely on video, but um, yeah, I got killed twice. And I've only got two beds down, so I was only able to respawn, so I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to use a Pokeball, uh, which we'll show you in just a second. But this thing right here, this is a Manta Taming Pin. And what you do is you put down four foundations, and you make four doors or window frames, either works. The doors seem to work best, because that way you can get into the, the kind of, you got they kind of got a small tame window. But what you do, is you come out. And you get your manta and you drag it back and you just come through the thing and you drop walls behind it and it can't get out it can't go nowhere now uh they use bug repellent now i wasn't going to tame this guy right now i was just going to show it working but uh he was a five five twenty six or five thirty six and what i was going to do is i was going to trap him and then that way when i finally got some angler gel to tame him with which i just picked some up off of a drop just as i gonna go as well uh, i was going to come back and tame him but uh he killed me and well actually him and he was by himself when I found him with the sharks and some sharks over here and some Mickeys over here but when I finally got this laid down I came out here there were dozens of mantas and I don't know where they come from like y'all know this is Arctic it happens it's just one of them things stuff randomly decides to spawn in when you find something you want but uh I was actually wasn't I was actually leading the one I wanted back and got right here and died and uh, I couldn't get my stuff back. They were swarming all over this box, attacking it. And you can see I actually damaged it, trying to kill them, trying to get to my body. And uh, the one that I've got in the Pokeball actually killed me again. Uh, or actually, he killed me the first time because he was high level and he hit me. So I couldn't get my pack back. So I kind of went ahead and uh, snagged him with the pocket cage because I wanted all my stuff. I wasn't losing my gear. And uh, that's just all right because, uh, oh. Suffocating, which is okay because I didn't have the angler gel for him right now. Like I said I didn't really intend to tame him right now, but we'll go ahead and do it. So here we go. Can I not throw this underwater? Hmm, this may be interesting. And I tamed a mantha. <laughs> not even going to name this guy right now. Oh, and I lost a mantha. No, yeah, that was nice. Oh well. Oh, do I get prime meat off of you? Nope. Say <laughs> la vive. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, well, I thought maybe I'd have me an underwater mount. No big deal. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. I forgot to mute my stuff. It happens. In a connected world, everything decides to tell you you got messages and everything, so... Yeah. Oh well. Uh, that's probably really loud because it's right next to my phone. Uh, the microphone is. But anyway. Uh, I apologize again. I forgot to mute it. But um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, also got this guy over here. I think I'm gonna tame him. Not that guy. The other guy. There's two things in here. You see, I found me an Anki just right on the side of the island. Uh, I want a BA, but uh, this is a female. So she will lay eggs, which that's one of the reasons why I snagged her. As you can see, she's already laid an egg, and she laid, she laid two eggs? No, just one. 
she laid an egg over there on the other side of the uh, island as well, which is one of the things that caught my attention from her. So what I think I'm going to do is, uh, I don't remember what level that guy was, 470. Uh, hold on one second, y'all. I'm going to look real quick and see what the tame time is on somebody like him with fairies and with kibble. Cause since I've got the kibble machine, I can, you know, I can pull it up and get some kibble out of it if I got enough uh, metal. Wish you could recycle the um, uh, the, the, the kibble into it for metal, or you know, switch it for different kibble. That'd be really cool. So look, this guy is a hmm. oh yeah, there you go, Gigantopithecus, and he is a level what? Where'd he go? Four seventy. So he would take. Calculate. He take 27 berries in 36 minutes or 3 kibble. So, I think I'm just going to leave him for now. And she's going to take at 590. Such a nice level. I really wish it was a BA. But uh, I can find another one of those another time. So I'm not that worried. I just need this person, this, this girl right here to get uh, obsidian. So she's going to take... Oh, that's an Allosaurus. I was going to say, what? Prime meat. <laughs> she will take eight kibble in 19 minutes for a full normal tame. Uh, or 102 berries. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to knock her out. And I'm going to check my um, machine backer and see how much I got. I think I'm gonna leave my doors open because I don't I don't think those guys can go through doors, but uh I guess we'll find out, won't we? Now normally I'd just tame one of these out in the wall and wouldn't even bother with the taming pin because they're not that hard to tame. You just circle around them. Uh yeah, just stick your head through the wall. That works fantastic. See that's what four, four or five. Oh, looks like she might be trying to run. Start giving her the count here. Oh no, stay away from me. No, go away. You're getting in the way. Too much stuff in the time you've been at once. <laughs> Come on, go down. I didn't even think about it, but I'm going to have to watch out for him while I uh, put stuff on her. And she's down. Okay. Oh, no. You just stay over there. Goodness gracious. Well, apparently I forgot to put that on on silent and put it on vibrate. So, yeah. Uh, again, I apologize. Still getting the hang of getting this all set up every day. Uh, let's see. Ankies need a uh, dodo or dillo, right? Which I wish I had some vegetables because I might actually have enough dillo eggs to tame this guy if I had the vegetables made up. And this says I'm going to need eight, so you know what? I'm just going to craft all nine because Dillo Kibble is fantastically useful. And uh, while that does that, I'm going to hop on this guy real quick. Put this away. Run over here, get some more metal. Again, I apologize. Only reason I haven't done is put put on uh, silence because it's not current. That that phone is not actually in reach. Oh, ran over something. Oh wow! Did I miss the rock altogether? There we go. All right, let's get back. Oh, rafters. 
They're no problem. Even if they chase me, I can kill them before the any issues. I knew they was going to come after me. Oh, I killed a trolley bite. Alright. Back to base. Let's see what we got going on here. Is this stuff done been made yet? Yes, it is. Oh, what? Only one? Oh, man. This is a bug I've noticed with this thing. Basically, it's only going to make one at a time, and I'm going to have to make each individual one. Oh, no. It actually did. Let's see if it'll do more than two. Yep, okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I've had it happen this before where I've literally had to make each. Yeah, see? You can only make a couple at a time. It won't do it for some reason. I don't know why it does that. But it is a bug I've noticed before in the past. Uh, I actually set it one time to make a whole bunch of kibble and walked away. Come back needing the kibble and had none of it. And yeah, actually lost the animal. Uh, because I had no taming uh, narcotics left. To keep the animal. Oh. Well, I guess we'll kill you. Alright, here we go. Run back over here real quick. No, I'm hungry. Where's that Bigfoot at? All right, as long as he stays over there, we're all good. All right. Hunger elixir. Remote use item. And boom. Now, hopefully he don't try to mess with this thing when it wakes up. Come on out of there, son. Shut the door. Come on. Come on. Wait, did they change it? Some say they changed it so y'all can't go through a door? Ah, alright. There we go. Now I need to make a couple saddles, apparently. <laughs> Let's get this first big girl back up on the stone. Alright, yeah, I am not leaving animals off the stone at all. That is not happening no more. Even though I haven't had a problem with it since I moved, I still, it's not gonna, yeah, I'm just not gonna take the risk. Alright, did you ever land? Yes, you did. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. Uh, yep, so I got me, let's see, I need to name the Pelagornis. I need to name the Anki. I still need to name the Raptor. Y'all got suggestions. Uh, it is a male. The Pelagornis is a male. The Anki's a female. And I think that's it. Oh, and I need to name the Dire Bear, which, the Alpha Dire Bear, which I'm working on. It's a male. But if y'all have suggestions, I'm open. Um, but yeah. Y'all have fun. Stay safe in Orca's life.